Do you know when was the last time your store procedure executed? We'll figure that out today. Hi there, this is Pinal Dave, and I welcome all of you to this another episode of SQL in the 60 second. My clients often have thousands of store procedure. They are often confused which one of them are still valid and good for them and which one of them have not executed for a while. There is very simple way you can figure it out when was your store procedure last executed. Let's learn that today together. Here on the screen, I have very simple script. This script actually display store procedure and their execution count from SQL Server Cache. Let's execute this store procedure and currently it is giving us nothing because I have just restarted my SQL Server. Now, here I have two store procedure from sample database. The first store procedure I'll be executing four times and second store procedure I will be executing five times. Now, the store procedures have executed successfully. Let's go back to our original script and click on execute. You can see on the screen very interesting result. The first column is name of the schema and the second column is the name of the store procedure. Right after that, it tells us when it was cached in a memory and following that, we have last execution count of that store procedure. Next column is very easy to understand and that is execution count and following that it gives us average elapsed time or average time for this store procedure to run. Stay tuned for very interesting tip before the end of this video if you are considering to drop your store procedure. Now that's it for today. If you like what you see, please do not forget to share, comment, like and subscribe to this video. I'll see you soon in another episode of SQL in the 60 second. If you want to drop your store procedures, first just rename them. So if your applications are still using it, they will throw an error so you can rename them back.